Hi there, I'm going to talk about the Oracle Container Cloud Service today and deploying the Enterprise Oracle database onto that service. First off, I'm going to go to GitHub and check out the Docker images we have there under the Oracle repository. On GitHub, you can see there's a bunch of different Oracle images here, or Docker files, where you can build your own Docker images. Uh, if I look at the Oracle database, we can see here that there's a, a readme and a description on how to build your own database image to run on Docker and the various versions we support. Here we've got a 12.2.0.1 Enterprise Edition, and there's instructions on how you can easily build this and help us on how to build this uh, very easily. So I've gone ahead and built this image and I pushed it into a private repository on Docker Hub. And from there, I'm ready to go into the container cloud service and deploy this database as a container. Let's see how easy that is. First off, we want to go into our registries tab. So with container cloud service, you automatically have a connection to the Docker Hub out of the box. But if you're connecting to a private registry, you want to make sure you have an entry for that registry so we know how to connect to it and pull down the database image in this case. So here we can see we have uh, an account for our OCCS account, and we can click on validate and go validate that account. Great, it's validated successfully, so now we should be able to pull down that image and run it. In order to run an image, we need to first create what we call a service. A service is simply a template that describes how to go run that image as a container. In this case, we have the database image that we saw before on Docker Hub. We're pulling the database tagged with the latest. And we have a number of the different environment variables that are defined uh, on that GitHub page that we can provide here. And you can see we filled in the various different environment variables that you need to go run this image. We're running this uh, container on the following ports here that you can see. And now we're ready to go run that image. So let's go do that. I simply deploy the database container. In this case, I'm deploying one that has no volumes attached. Click on Deploy. And the Container Cloud Service will go spin up that image right from the Docker Hub. And we can see it's running. If we go look at our deployments, once you start a service, you have uh, what's called a deployment, which is one or more running containers. And we can see that we've got a couple running here. We've got the one that we just started and one we started a little while back. So let's go and look at a running container in the Container Cloud Service. Here it is. And I can drill into that database and go look at its logs. And if I scroll down, I can see here right in the log file that the database has been spun up successfully in the Container Cloud Service and it's ready to use. So very simple. We went to GitHub. We build the Docker image. We push it into a private repository. We wire that up as a service in Container Cloud Service, and we can run it. And now we're ready to attach our applications and our workloads to leverage this database.